Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is CSS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. With this series, I will make sure that you become master and pro in CSS. To do that, today's topic is very very important because today we are covering CSS syntax. How to write C CSS, how to understand what it does and everything that you need. Let's get started. This is part two of the series. But before you we proceed with today's episode, you if you are trying to become a full stack developer or a front end engineer, you will also require HTML and CSS and JavaScript along with CSS. I have those playlists in my channel. Make sure that you go through them in order to learn them. All right. So today is episode number two. We are learning about CSS syntax. All right. So I'll keep it very very basic first, assuming that you don't know anything. Even if you know, it will only help you. <coughs> CSS rule consists of a selector and a declaration block. A selector is nothing but an HTML element that you want to style. Declaration block is the place where you write the statements separated by semicolons. Each declaration includes a CSS property name and a value separated by colon. Multiple CSS declarations are separated with semicolons and declaration blocks are surrounded by curly braces. Okay, so this is a theory, but I don't want to spend more time on theory, but on practical. So let's get started with coding. I'll keep it very, very simple. I'm going to create a new folder so I can give you all this code as you as we move in the series. So I'm going to create a simple index.html. <coughs> this I'm going to throw in very, very basic stuff and close just <coughs> just right amount this is the common thing that you need and all of this I have covered in as part of HTML series so make sure that you go through that all right so what I'm going to do I'm going to keep it very very simple I'm just going to take a heading tag okay and I'm going to call it arc tutorials OK, so how does this look? Let's open. You can reveal in your folder or finder and right click and open with browser and it should open up like this. OK, that's how you run any HTML. You just right click and say open with your choice of your browser. I would recommend start using Chrome. That way you have access to developer tools and it much easy. All right, so we have our basic index.html open. You can also verify it by right click and you can say view page source. You can see the same HTML source code. Okay, the one that we just have written. All right, so <clears throat> for now, I'm using inlines uh, internal styling. Okay, we what is this? Why are we doing it? I'm covering it in next episode. Okay, but for now, today we are understanding the basic syntax of CSS. So to write the syntax, you will write h1 tag h1 is the element html element that you want to style so this is the selector followed by the declaration block the declaration block is written in curly braces followed by the css property and its value css property let's say i'm going to use color it is written as property name colon then followed by the value now for now i'm going to use a named color okay I'm going to cover this also in the series as we progress for today's episode just understand you will write the selector followed by curly brace that is your declaration block this is the CSS property name followed by the CSS property value okay this is one way you can also let's say you have multiple <coughs> oh, welcome to CSS series right so see now I have two h1 block to two h1 elements in the page and I'm using a common style to style both of them go back to your browser refresh you would see both have the same style that is blue color because this particular applies to all the elements in the page <coughs> now if I have to use a class okay don't worry too much I have covered this in HTML you can check it out there also 
now see I am using HTML so now I have two elements which have a same class name subheading subheading right so I can style them too and I can say dot subheading color red <coughs> so here what I'm saying the selector is dot subheading that means in this particular web page find all the elements who have a class name as subheading and put their color to red color go back to browser and hit F5 or refresh and you see that these two are now red because they share the same class name <coughs> so important things here that you're learning is a selector can target one element or we can target multiple elements in the page using class with multiple selectors will be selected declaration block is written in curly braces property name followed by value okay so that's how CSS works so let's go back to our theory <coughs> and check here whatever we have written a CSS rule consists of a selector and a declaration block so this is the selector this is the declaration block the selector points to a HTML element you want to style in this case it's the h1 in this case it's all the elements with the class subheading a declaration block contains one or more declarations separated by semicolons right so that is something that I can add here and say <coughs> background color light yellow right so see this is a declaration block it has multiple statements they are separated by semicolon so let's go back here hit refresh and you see light yellow is added to the as a background all right and then each declaration includes a CSS property name and a value separated by colon that's what we have done here this is the property name this is the value one thing that a lot of people ask me is how do you remember all these property names trust me as a beginner you will start with only few but as you start working in real-time experience you will get them because they are fixed so over a period of time you will buy heart it just like how I have and a lot of you already have if you are working in UI <coughs> multiple CSS declarations are separated with semicolons and declaration blocks are surrounded by curly braces right <coughs> so that's all you need to understand in terms of syntax of CSS right if you understand this much it's much it will become much much easy for you to learn and master CSS as we progress in the series I will keep touching these points again and again so that you will practice and learn with me I hope this episode is clear if you have any queries any questions please write to me in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you in the next part I'm going to talk about how to insert CSS in different ways into an HTML page when you're working you would require all those techniques in place let's go slow and steady and I will make sure that you become master in CSS thank you so much for joining in this episode I'll see you in the next episode thank you for joining